Ah. First and foremost, we want to give all praise, all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Lakar, Kodash, double honor to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone, the teaching word of truth and sincerity, and the cool and well. Salutations to my fellow Ajahn across the four corners of the globe, preaching in the name of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. We out here another week. You see it? We're out here at the Wadi Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. We're having us out here another week. Okay, uh, preaching this word in the name of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Okay, uh, so, you know, we out here at another undisclosed location, okay, okay, uh, last week, uh, location that we used, you know, it got, it got, uh, it got hot, you know what I'm saying, so the spread of your house about two hours shy, got us out here, and it's over in this area right now, preaching, man. okay, so, what are we preaching, we're preaching to some people on the side here, the people on this side right here, we're the children of Israel, man. These so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, West Indians, Haitians, Puerto Ricans, Mexicans, okay? We're the children of Israel, man. We're one nation, okay? We're one nation, all right? And that the Most High, how about you, my Messiah, is going to bring judgment on these nations that surround about us, man. You got some of them around right here, okay? So-called white people here to eat them much, okay? So-called uh, uh, Arab to the uh, Israelites, Chinese, Japanese, and Moabites. We're here to tell you your biblical nationalities, man. Because the Most High, how about you, our child, is about to judge two thirds of his own people as well as the rest of the nations, man. That's right. And he's going to say the elect of the nation of Israel. He's people on his sign here. Start with 12,000 men from each tribe, which is 144,000, along with a mixed multitude of men, women, and children. Uh, of the children of Israel, they're scattered upon the four corners of the earth, okay? And when the Most High, Yahweh about to know how to judge, he's going to judge the whole nation, man. He don't care that some of you so-called white people might have been nice to, to these people on this side here. He don't care that some of you so-called Chinese and Japanese might have been nice to the children of Israel because he'll get these nations, they'll say, well, look, I ain't done that. I'm poor too. I'm broke too. Okay, well, you're just a two-time loser, man. Okay? All you nations, Starting off with the nation to eat them, the so-called white man. You, the whole nation, man. Your whole nation is going to get judged, man. Your whole nation is going to get judged, man. You're not a respectful, you're not a respectful of persons, man. Okay? You're not a respectful of persons. Let me make sure I can hear. Can your brother hear me on the line? God, God, God. So, uh, you're not a respectful of persons, man. So when it judgment goes up, it's going to consume the whole nation. Go ahead and read. The book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 18, verse 10. But on the other side, there sounded an ill chord and cry of the enemy. And, and who's, who's the enemies, man? All these nations. But this is talking about Egypt, ancient Egypt, okay? And how the most side brought judgment on the whole nation of Egypt, man. Because you had, you had the elite of Egypt, which would be the Pharaoh and his house. You had middle class. Uh, Egyptians, okay, with ones that worked in high office, military. the military, and then you had the fourth, okay, go ahead. And a lamentable noise was carried abroad for children that were bewailed. Uh, read it again. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon 18 and 10. But on the other side there sounded an ill according cry of the enemies. And a lamentable noise was carried abroad for children that were bewailed. Yeah, because the Lord killed the firstborn of everybody of the Egyptians, man. Okay, even their cattle. So you had uh, poor people crying for their firstborn child, rich people, 
the Pharaoh himself, man. Read it again. Wisdom of Solomon 18 and 10. But on the other side, they sounded a narrow accord and cry of the enemy, and a lamentable noise was carried abroad for children that were bewailed. Yep. Right. The master and the servant were punished one. The master and the servant were punished after one manner. Yep. And, and that's what's going to happen in this judgment, man. The master being the elite of Edom, okay, the so-called rough job, okay, you Gettys, you Dupots, you're the masters right now, okay? And he said, the master at home? Says, the master and the servant. The master and the servant, the servant would be all those that work for them. Even down to your least Edomite, man. Down to your lowest so-called white person, you Edomites. Hey, you're all going to be judged at the one man. We didn't get Wisdom of Solomon 18 and 11. The master and the servant were punished after one manner. Yep, the master and the servant were punished after one manner. And that goes for all you nations, man. Because all you nations, you got an elite, okay? You got an elite, you got a top class of your nation that Esau is dealing with, man. And you're the master of your nation. But Jesus, he, he, the so-called white man, the Rothschild starting off with them, they're the masters, man. And they got punished along with the servants, man. So the most high, how about you now try, does not care if, you know, because don't get you to see myself come up and say, well, you know, I didn't have nothing to do with that. You know, I'm poor too. I'm, I'm dead up. But hey, all you nations, all you nations have uh, trodden, the whole nation has trodden down the, the people on this side here. Like, let's speak about the so-called Negro in America, man. Okay? The fact that the Edomites, the lowest level Edomites, are walking in Hawaii, man, without a chain on their neck, anything, why? It's because we said four, five, and six. And they all, they all, all these nations, all these Edomites, they've been uh, reciprocators or receivers of the benefits of what the forefathers have done, man. Right. Okay? They all, they all, they all say, they all got something negative to say about the people on this side here, man. They, the Edomites and Duke, these heathen nations, they're not giving nothing to these people on this side here. Even if they're low level, they're not giving nothing to these people. They're not helping these people. They ain't coming to these people eggs. Hey, so when you when this judgment go out, it's gonna go out for the whole nation. Go ahead. And like as the king, so suffered the common person. And like as the king, who's the king of this world right here? Who's the king? Starting off with the rough job, man. These are your kings, man. It says, like as the king, so is the common person, man. So like the king gonna get destroyed, hey, so is the common, man. And that goes right. for all you nations, man. That goes for the entire, all you nations, man. Hey, how about you know what's right? It's not a respect of persons, man. Hey, you got the elite of these East Indians, man. Hey, guess what? They're going to be judged, and you're going to be judged, man. Great. Read it again. Wisdom of Solomon 18 and 11. The master and the servant were punished after one manner, and like as the king, so suffered, so suffered the common person. Yep, so the common people, man, and you got commoners, man. Like, we, the men of the Lord, the Lord, when we were part of the election, is going to the end. We're not commoners amongst our people, man. We're, we're, we will be classified, starting off with the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. We will be considered, and the blood going down, we will be considered the highest of our people, man. And the, the common of our people will be two thirds, man. All right. Can you do it again, bro? With the wisdom of Solomon 18 and 11, the master and the servant were punished after one manner. Yep. And like as the king, so suffered the common person. Yeah, and like as the king, so suffered the common person, man. So when you see these nations, commoners, getting wiped up, because that's what we're amongst right now. We're, but this word is going to the teachers of, the, of their nation. When you see these uh, average Joe Crackers, Joe Edomites, and all the rest of these nations, hey, they're, they're commoners, man. But as their destruction is going to be, so is their master. And likewise, as their master, so is their destruction. You read it? Verse 12. So they all together had innumerable dead with one kind of death. Yep. Now there was the living sufficient to bury them. Yeah, so it was a lot of death, man. In ancient Egypt, when Yahweh Bashan was shot, was releasing us from those bondages, because it was 430 years, okay? And he released us from that bondage. It was a lot of death, man. Likewise, in the day of the Lord, that's what we're coming out to preach. The day of Yahweh Bashan was shot. That's right. The day of the Lord is coming, man. And in the day of the Lord is going to be a mass death, man. 
and they got movies, and they're showing you that Esau knows it's coming, man. Like they showed that movie, it featured me and the brother was speaking about that. It's on Netflix, and hey, that's a bad movie, man. That's a bad movie, man. And when, when those, when those, when those men came out of the church, okay, they had very weapons, they had super strength, okay? Esau made it about him, and that's the always do. But guess what, man? They wasn't caring about nobody. They was just wiping people out, man. Who you thought were people, man? They were just wiping them out indiscriminately, man. Well, that's, that's, the, that's the judgment that your Howard Bashi Yahweh tribe is going to bring to this world, man. That's right. An indiscriminate judgment. He don't care if you was somebody in this world. He don't care if you was a nobody, man. Okay? Mm -hmm. Very well, in one moment, the noblest of offspring of them was destroyed. But in one moment, the noblest of the offspring were destroyed. Likewise, man, the nobles, hey, the scripture says, uh, you find on your phone, they start going to the gate of the nobles. Hey, the nobles, are you are you Rothschilds, man? You banking families, man. And it says, for in one moment, you're going to go into destruction, man. The noblest of them. So from the noblest all the way down to the least, okay? And you, and you, and you guys know you Israelites, man? Hey, I ain't trying to convert you to say, yeah, you're an Israelite, man. And you see, those are commoners, man. Those cats are commoners, man. Okay? And that's, hey, that's all we had to tell them, man. Hey, you know you're an Israelite. Uh, I'm sorry, read that again. Where you get that? The Book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 18, verse 11. The master and the servant were punished after one manner, and like as the king, so suffered the common person. Yeah, and like as the king, so suffered the common person. You know? So they all together had innumerable death with one kind of death. Yeah, they all together. So real quick, this is uh, Romans chapter 2, verse 11. For there is no respect of persons with the most high, man. So you how about you on the side? I don't care that you, you might have gave a date a sandwich. The most high, y'all watch you know what I don't care that, that you might have uh, gave a date a job. Hey, the Lord is not a respecter of persons, because we as a nation, as a nation went down, man. We as a nation went down, they probably a certain great dignity, man. You see, try to tell Jake he's an Israelite, niggas want to take pictures in front of a waterfall. But hey, guess what? Just like the, the noble is going to go down, hey, two thirds of Israel, you're going to go down, man. You speakers and you niggas, you're going to go down, man. You niggas gonna be destroyed, man. You niggas gonna be destroyed because you concerned with folly, man. And that's why you don't see us out here trying to convert no niggas, man. No sticks, man. No wetbacks, man. That's right. You niggas gonna die. And the noblest, which is the elite of our people, starting off with the apostles and the elders, we're gonna be, Lord willing, we're part of the elect. We're gonna be saved, man. And you're gonna go in destruction just right along with Esau, man. Just like his nobles, just like his middle class, just like his lower class, the whole kingdom is going to be destroyed, man. Because the whole Bashima was shot is not a respecter of persons, man. So when this judgment comes, you can't say, oh, I had nothing to do with it. It wasn't me. It was you, man. It was you, man. See, all these people right now, all these people that's out here, they're out here for vanity's sake, man. And the scripture says there'll be some that be born in vain, man. Two thirds of Israel, you were born in vain, just to be destroyed. So you're given into holy divinity, man. You Edomites, likewise, man. You think that you're here for a reason that you that you that you're important, but you're just hey, you just fighting for the cannon, man. This is the Book of Isaiah, chapter thirteen, verse one. The burden of Babylon, which I said the son of Amos did see, lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain. And what is that banner? This book right here, the Bible, man. Hey, you, 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 this, is a, this is a banner. And that high mountain is America, man. Hey, this is the place where everybody wants to be like. All these nations want to, em want to emulate America, man. Read it again. I said 13 and 2. Lift thee up a banner upon the high mountain, exalt the voice unto them. And that's what we're doing, exalting me, raise, man. 
we're raising a voice unto them, unto the Israelites, and unto the rest of you heathen nations, man. Go ahead. Shake the hand that they may go into the gates of the nobles. And we're doing that, man. This world, it is going into the gates of the nobles, man. That's why Esau is getting his plan off the ground, man. Pushing that, that RFID chip, the mark of the beast, more and more prevalently. Oh, you got race rights about to start off. They're getting bubbled up as we speak, being fomented. And this word is going into the gates of the nobles. The nobles are the elite, man. That's right. You, you don't see them. Hey, the majority, you might know about them. Hey, but you, you people don't know about them. Hey, you, you, you Asians, you so-called Asians, you Japanese and Chinese, you don't know about the elite of your nation, man. Even if you are calling yourself an American, man. Okay, you Samoans, you Tongans, you Hawaiians, you Japites. You don't know about the elite of your own people, man. And they still exist. They're still here. And we're going into the gates of the nobles, man. We. Verse 3. Isaiah 13 and 2. Lift thee up a banner upon the high mountain, so the voice unto them, shake the hand, that they may go into the gates of the nobles. Yep. I have commanded my sanctified ones. The sanctified ones are the elect of Israel. I have, I have also called my mighty ones for mine anger. Hey, how about you know, Shai called his mighty ones for his anger, man? Because that's what the Lord is coming back, man. Hey, that move is thinking, bro. Hey, the whole fucking city was on fire, man. In a the, in the moment. It was, all, it was at a party. It was at a party, bullshit. And that's when you know, whoop. All this, all this, all this. All this uh, power, man, out of nowhere, man. Then they make them, they make them eat them ice and shit. But guess what, man? That's what's gonna happen, man. Because the Most High, how about you know, Shai, is about to bring his anger on this earth, man. That's right. You want to know what we preaching? We're the Israelites, man. These people on this sign here. Yahweh how about you know, Shai, our God, our power, and he's about to bring destruction to this place, man. That's right. Starting off from the least of you to the greatest of you, man. With even them. That rejoice in my highness. And the only ones that rejoice in the highness is the elect, man. We're rejoicing in the highness of the high bashing out of the side. There's more than uh, the noise of a multitude. Yeah, read that. Keep reading. I said 13 and 4, the noise of a multitude in the mountains, like I say, great people. Hey, that's what that, yeah, Go ahead. A tumultuous noise of yeah. the kingdoms of nations gathered together. Yeah. The Lord Yahweh by Shimei Hawashai of hosts mustereth the host of the battle. Right. Yahweh by Shimei Hawashai, the host, is, is armies, man. He mustered all these nations to go to war over there in the Middle East, man. Right here. Right here in the so-called Middle East. All right? All the armies are getting ready, man, for the host of the battle. Why? This, this third world war is going to take place, man. That's right. We're in the early throes of it, man. Hey, we're in the early throes of a lot of stuff, man. Race riots, spinning, okay? Uh, uh, um, death, destruction, the third world war, the downfall, the so-called white man, the Edomite, black people. Hey, this is it. They come from a far country. Yeah, all the nations, they're going to come from a far country. Go ahead. From the end of heaven, from one in the heaven, go ahead. Even the heavenly Father and the weapons of his indignation, those nuclear missiles, okay, to destroy the whole land. Oh, wait a minute, those nuclear missiles, man. That's what's coming to destroy the whole land, man. Who's bringing it? The Yahweh shot. That's right. The God of the Israelites, man. The God of the Bible, man. The one you ignorantly call God in Jesus, whose name is Yahweh, and his son name is Yahweh shot, man. He ain't coming back to bring peace. He ain't coming back to bring love. The Lord said, I, I come not to send peace, but a sword. A sword is a killer instrument. And you people ain't ready for it, man. It's going to catch the majority of you people off guard. You did it again? Isaiah 13 and 5. They come from a far country, nuclear, from the end of heaven. Nuclear missiles are going to go from one end, from Russia, all the way to America, from Germany, all the way to America, Pakistan, Iran, from China. Israel, all the way to America, man. Go ahead. Even the most high and the weapons of his indignation. So the chariot suit. So-called white men called UFOs, the chariot suit. Hey, in, a, in, a, in that movie. Hey, it was chariots, man. Hey, like, hey, did you see that light? 
it, it was like, it was the same cherry that the empty, a real cherry, man. It looked like it was an arrow in the sky, and it was just like, it was bright, and the light got bigger and brighter. And, hey, and them dudes, that dude said it came from Mars. They was a, a colony on Mars, man. Right? And it came far, that's far, man. Dude said, we didn't even know, uh, he said, we never knew when it happened. It was like 50 years ago. So it took them 50 years to get that shit popping to come back here, man. But in the movie, they were right, basically like, Erasing the memories of the people. Yep. And that's what the so-called elite do nowadays, man, through the media, through, through school, through the educational system. They fucking brainwash you people to believe in whatever the white man tells you, man. Y'all don't even know your nationality. You don't know where you come from. You're through, man. When the Lord comes back, he's going to destroy all of you. Hey, this is uh, Isaiah 25 and 7. And he will destroy in this month the face of the covering cast that is cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations, man. That's right, and that's talking about the covering cast that the so-called white men, the Edomite, put upon all the nations, man. You Ammonites, you Moabites, calling yourself Chinese, Japanese, Korean. That's not your true nationality, man. The same thing with all our nations, man. You Negroes, Native, Seminole, and West Indians, and you so-called Latinos, calling yourself after this words that the white man put in you, man. You're yeah. conquistadors. So you're calling yourself an African-American, a Colombian, a, a Haitian. That's not your nationality, man. And the Lord's gonna destroy you if you don't come back to the Father, man. Yep. And, uh, and like the brother would say, they, that's how Esau embraces your memory, man. He keeps putting black on you. Even, even the Israelites, man. He called us black. He ain't black. My brother ain't black. I'm brown. He's a, he's a variation of brown, man. A lighter shade of brown, man. We're not black, but that's something that they put over you to, to, uh, to disguise you, man. A covering cast. A covering cast, man. Hey, and, and, and when they got, when they, uh, in that movie, when they took their memory away, it was like a black, it was an eye, man. And they were staring into their all-seeing eye, man. And it was just giving them memories, things that they ain't never lived. And some music, and they yeah. both re reprogramming. Reprogramming, man. Right. I got another scripture real quick, bro. Hey, this is the book of Jude. This is the book of Jude. Chapter 1, verse 5. I will therefore put you in remembrance, though ye once knew this, how that the Lord, having saved the people of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed them that believe not. And right, because we all was there, man. We were there, man. Our forefathers, our forefathers, we were there, man. How we saw how the Lord destroyed two thirds of Israel that didn't believe in him, man, that was murmuring. How is the Lord putting this back in our remembrance? Through the scriptures. Giving us passes at his own heart, man. From the apostles and the elders, man. And we were, we were once Israelites. Now we're bringing it back to our memory. We saw the magnific magnification of Yahweh by was giant leading us out of the land of Egypt, man. Okay? All you nations, you nations, you're being called by names that, that the white man gave you, man. The white man gave you Chinese, Japanese, Arab, Polynesian, black, That's right. African, Hispanic. The white man gave you those, man, when he conquered you, man. So to say, I will therefore put you in remembrance, though you once knew this, because at one point, we once knew this, man. This Ecclesiastes, this Ecclesiastes, chapter 1, verse 9. Ecclesiastes 1 and 9. The thing that has been, it is that which shall be. And that which is done is that which shall be done. And there is no new thing under the sun. There's nothing new under the sun, man. All this stuff has been here in some form of way, man. You got cars with horsepower. At one time you had horses and buggies. You got uh, 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 the, the, uh, the germ in the storm. Now you got the so-called cell phone, the, the, the worldwide the internet. At one time, that was only for a certain men in the Israel, the Levites, man. Okay? You got everything, everything that you see has already been, man. Hey, even in uh, ancient, um, in ancient Rome, they had tall buildings, man. They had malls. They had malls, man. Okay? So it says, the thing that has been is that which shall be, 
and that which is done is that which shall be done, and there is no new thing under the sun. Hey, Shalom, huh? All right. Is there anything where it might be said, see, this is new? It has been already of old, of old time, which was before us, man. Hey, so they, even this technology that we saw got, it's nothing new. Ain't nothing, nothing new about it, man. And man, in fact, all this technology, the highest level of technology you got here, is old to the most high, man. And this is the old technology. You go to Daniel 12 and uh, 10. Daniel 12 and 10. All this stuff is old knowledge, man. It's old knowledge, man. But to you, you think it is, man. The so-called white man, he thinks he's God because of the technology, man. He thinks he's the most high because of his technology, man. Got it? The book of Daniel, chapter 12, verse 10. Many shall be purified and many made white and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly, yep. and none of the wicked shall understand, yep. but the wise shall understand. And the wise are the elect of Israel, man. The wicked, the wicked is the so-called white man, but you also got the wicked of our people, man. They don't understand it. Like you see all them Jake that worked out earlier, those are so-called black and fair state of Americans, man. I was like, hey, you know you're Israelite? He's like, nah. Like, I got to tell him, what's up? Answers to some fucking trap music. Yeah. Like, so the nigga, he can't understand what's about to happen. You can't understand the destruction that's about to happen. Go ahead, keep reading. Verse 11? Yeah. And from the time... Man. Yep. Hey, fat, fat is a new skinny now, man. 
There was a time in the 70s and the 60s, you didn't see that many fat people, man. Now it's like fat is in, man. Fat is in. Uh, body positivity, man. And he's so selective, bro. And he's so bald. He pushes that, that prideful fucking vibration, like, oh, uh, if you're fat or whatever, be proud and, and yeah. just wear it. Yeah. You got fucking movies with bitches being all fucking fat and shit and acting sexy and shit. Yeah. And you super niggas following after them just yeah. to get some box, man. Just to get some box, man. Oh, oh, you, man. oh, you're so beautiful. Man, this got a big ass stomach full of shit and DMO, man. And that shit is out there with a bikini on, bro. But that's beautiful, man. She, she ain't even, she don't even show discretion, man. It was a time when black bitches showed discretion, man. If anybody was gonna cover up, it was gonna be a black bitch, man. But the white man and white woman told you, hey, fat is beautiful. Whatever you are, gay is beautiful. Whatever you wanna be, hey, just give it up, man. Hey, ain't no wrong with a little box. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, damn, bro, come on, man. Show some, show some respect, man. Go ahead, let's give me this. Oh, that was it. Back to Wisdom Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, I was going to see that. So we're talking about there's no remembrance of the former things, man. So it says, Ecclesiastes 1 and 10. Is, is there anything where it may be said, see, this is new? It has already been of all times, which was before us. There is no remembrance of former things. Neither shall there be any remembrance of things that are to come with those that shall come after. Right, so these Edomites, they don't, like, like they'll, they'll say, I had nothing to do with this, I had nothing to do with that. Hey, but it was you common Edomites that was hanging and burning and torturing the children of Israel, man. That wasn't a rock child, man. I mean, they do sacrifices and shit, but they wasn't the ones in those rural areas in the south or the north hanging you, man. It was the common, Every day, hate, despise, and eat them like, man. Okay? Yeah, it was a, it was a regular everyday eat them like, man. And where were you other nations at, man? Where were the Japhites? Where were the Hawaiians and the Tongans and Samoans? Hey, them niggas was over here eating each other, man. Where were the rest of you nations when this was happening to the children of Israel? The so-called Negro Latino. They don't care. Hey, that's likewise. When you're destroyed, we're not going to give a fuck, man. Right. And you know the Lord ain't going to care, man. And the Lord right. said he stole his enemy 10 times, I mean 10,000 times more, man. Hey, when, when the Lord let us loose on you, man, it's going to be over, man. But like we were saying, a lot of you Edomites, you don't remember this, man. You don't remember, you see them Edomites walk up the street? Y'all act like this was hundreds of years ago, man. And a lot of this shit was 60 years ago. And some of it still happened, man. 40 years ago. 30 years ago. But you don't remember this, man. These Edomites, they were sending postcards of, of Israelites, man. Not just so-called Negroes either. Mexicans, Italians, Irishmen. We're mainly the so-called Negro and West Indian, man. Y'all don't remember that, man. Even you Latino tribes, man. When the Spaniards and the Portuguese went out there to the South Americas, man, they were ripping your babies apart, man. They were making leather, um, like leather pants off of your skins and shit. Oh, they get after uh, the Southern Kingdom, yeah. Yeah, and to the Southern Kingdom, man. Yeah, yeah. That's where the nation of Edom has to go. That's, that's a whole nation, man. They're fucking wicked. If you learn about this kind of stuff in school, if you learn it at all, and you just thought that it was so long ago that the so-called white man is far removed from his, his previous actions, man. Hey, but the nigga, he's still, he's still like this. It works, man. It works, man. Yeah? It works. Yeah? Wait, wait. The book of Joel, chapter 5 and 15. I'm going up to the anger of the Lord that he's going to bring upon your nation, man. Right? And I will execute vengeance and anger and fury upon the heathen, hey. such as they have not heard. Hey, <laughs> read that again, bro. It's the book of Joel, chapter 5 and 15. I will execute vengeance and anger and in fury upon the heathen, such as they have not heard. So the Lord said he's going he to execute judgment, anger, and fury, such as you not heard, man. 
That's how bad it's gonna be for you heathens, man. And you don't even know that, man. You ain't never seen it before. We gonna make all this. We gonna make all this look like child's play, man. When we get you in slavery, man, we gonna make this look like child's play, man. And all you need is gonna go through this shit, man. Not just the so-called white man, he's gonna get the run of it. Like the, the children of Judah, they got the run of it. Hey, you going all you next gonna go through this shit, man. Believe that, man. And you either might like to be on the top, get the best of the best, or you gonna get the best of slavery, man. No, that's right, man. You're you gonna, gonna be VIP in, in the pits. Yo, yeah, you're not gonna have our women in slavery, man. You ain't gonna have no women in slavery, Esau. Yo, that proud. Ain't nobody more proud than a nigga woman and a, and a, and a white man, yo. That's right. Hey, the nigga woman and the white man, hey, both of y'all asses going into slavery, man. In fact, the nigga woman gonna be destroyed on this side, man. But you, in the kingdom of heaven, man, the most neat and most solid and most obedient of all the children of Israel, the women of Israel, gonna be them Judite women, man. Because y'all having it right now, man. Hey, the two, the two most despicable, evil, uh, 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 um, slave masters on the earth is the so-called black woman and the so-called white man, yo. You're the worst, man. Hey, the black woman's worse than the white woman, man. Hey, at least when you get to a white woman, she'll, she'll, hey, she'll, she'll serve you, man. In some cases, man. But the black woman, man, she's just a terror, man. Okay? Okay, I got another question. Oh, can you do that again, Joel? The book of Joel, chapter 5 and 15. And I will execute vengeance and anger and fury upon the heathen such as they have not heard. Yeah, so that, that anger and fury is, is going to be such as you've not heard before, man. That's how bad it's going to be bad, man. It's going to be bad, man. That's right. You're going you're gonna, to you're gonna wish you had days like this, man. To frolic in the water, to walk up and down the street aimlessly, to get a cold drink of water. Fresh water, man. Cause you eat them, you're not getting no fresh water, man. All your water's gonna be bitter. You gonna eat poison and live, man. Just like we're eating poison and living right now in your society, man. You gonna eat poison and, and die, man. And then live again. And die some more, man. Die more, more, more. Hey, hey, what's that Kevin Gates song? I don't get tired. Hey, <laughs> in the kingdom of heaven, man, we ain't gonna get tired, man. That's right. Okay? We're not going to get tired. Is that another one? Please. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 24. Therefore saith the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai of hosts, the mighty one of Israel. Ah, I will ease mine, I will ease me of mine adversaries ah. and advance me of mine enemy. Ah, I will ease me of my adversaries. Who are the adversaries? Two thirds of Israel. And the rest of you, you, and you heathen nations, man. Read it again. The book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 24. Therefore, said the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai of hosts, the mighty one of Israel, Ah, I will leave me of mine adversaries and avenge me of mine enemies. Yep, the most, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is going to avenge him, uh, himself of his enemies, man. Because, I'm sorry, because yeah. his enemies are our enemies, man. Right. Our enemies are his enemies, man. And that eye right there shows you that he's gonna completely wipe out his enemies, man. Yeah, completely, Cause, man. Because nowadays you got countries going to wars and shit, but they still they still leave like other other nations and they not at peace, man. That's why you got all these countries building up with military weapons and shit. Cause yeah. they not at peace. They they ain't do away with all their enemies. That's why they still have what you so called armies and armed forces, man. But the Lord, when he comes back to avenge himself, all, all of you heathens are gonna be through, man. And all his enemies are gonna be finished. Done, man. Hey, you nation's know, never gonna be able to stand up again, man. There's never gonna be another time of the heathen, man. Like that, right. mo like that movie, uh, Extinction, man. They didn't remember that they went to war with the, the humans, man. Right now, like you, you, you eat a mic down here. You don't remember that you went to war with the Israelites, man, and how you destroyed them. The way you destroyed them, man. You still destroying them and reaping those benefits, but you don't remember that. You nations don't like the children of Ammon. They don't remember when they had Israel and, and, and bondage, man. Oh, we never had slaves. We never had nothing to do with that. Yes, you did. All you nations, all you nations, man. All you nations 
Hey, this is what happens when you got wickedness on the earth, man. Confusion. Great confusion. The judgment of the Lord is coming, man. What? The slain also shall be cast out. The stink shall come up out of their carcasses. Yeah, it's not, it's not gonna be nobody to bury these bodies that's about to be flooding the earth, man. Just like in the days of Noah, man. After the flood receded, man, wasn't nobody to bury all them bodies, man. And they just had to go back into the earth, man. Animals, the, 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 the bugs, the maggots, they had to, they had to devour these bodies, man. Likewise in this time, man, they're going all the death that's about to happen from city to city, state to state, country to country, land and land. There's not going to be nobody to bury them bodies. And in the, after the Third World War, the ones that's going to bury the bodies in Israel and in around Israel are going to be the elite. You're going to be the first fruits of slavery. That's coming. Slavery, back, slavery is coming back in a, in, a, in, a good, in a great way, a major way. And you don't even know it. It ain't gonna be easy going inside there that's going in it. It's gonna be you, you heathens, man. Where, bro? And the mountains shall be melted with their blood. Hey, the mountains are these, these nations. They're gonna be melted, these governments, these high places, America, they're gonna be melted with the blood of your people, man. It's over 300, almost 400 million people in America, man. You're gonna be destroyed. Except for the elect of Israel, man. Anybody caught here on the soil and they just like in January, man, when they had that so-called false alarm, they caught a lot of people off guard, man. They thought they were going to die. Yeah, people visiting other countries, man, trying to go to the airport, trying to get on the plane and get out of here. People giving a heart attack, having a heart attack, giving up the spirit. It's going to come at you when you least expect it, man. That's right. And we're warning you about that, man. We're telling you that the Lord's judgment is coming, man. So when World War III breaks out, martial law, famine, Death, plague. It ain't the white man that's bringing that. It's your how about see how it's done. That's right. Go ahead, bro. And all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved, and the heavens shall be ruled together as a salaki. And the heavens shall be ruled together as a scroll. Hey, that's that nuclear, that's that nuclear, uh, that nuclear smoke, man. The heavens gonna be rolled together as a scroll, man. And it's gonna be more than one. It's gonna be over 200 million nuclear warheads hitting America, man. It's gonna early annihilate this place, man. That's right. And all their hosts shall fall down as the leaf falleth from a vine. All of armies gonna fall down, man. As a leaf falleth from a vine, man. And as a falling fig from the fig tree. And as a falling fig from the fig tree, go ahead. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. What? What's the Lord's sword? Nuclear missiles, man. It's gonna be what? Bathed in the heavens, man. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia and upon the people of my curse. Who are the, the Idumians? The so-called white men. You're the people of the Lord's curse. You have leprosy, man. That's a curse. There's no beauty in that. Even you got date women with leprosy, uh, so-called vitiligo, man. Walking around looking like a fucking plague. And she just walking around at every party. Showing herself like it's cool, man. You eat them, Mike, you got leprosy, man. You're the people of the Lord's curse, and these missiles, they're going to come down upon Idumia, upon the people of the Lord's curse. For what? For judgment. Right. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 34, verse 5, My sword shall be bathed in heaven, behold, it shall come down upon Idumia and upon the people of my curse to judgment. Yep, so in modern day Idumia is America, man. And it's this, this, this key nuclear missile, they're coming down for judgment, man. And y'all don't believe this can happen, man. But again, when y'all had that, that, uh, that scare, man, hey, it was out of nowhere, man. Yeah, people trying to put their kids in a uh, manhole. I was here for that, yo. Yeah? Like, like that dude, what's the name of that artist, the video that you made, the... Maxwell, what's it? Yeah, Maxwell. Maxwell Khan. Yeah, Elder, re-upload. The Elder, uh, Elder, yeah, Elder Mawatt decided to do that, yeah. Yeah, and they showing you, man. They, and what was he singing? We, we didn't see it coming. Yeah, we didn't see yeah, it coming. Yeah, I ain't gonna see it coming, because you fucking walking in fucking darkness, man. Yeah, yeah. Fucking everything to you is folly. Like, y'all just want to be in that spirit of folly and fucking mirth. Yep. Yeah. Celebrating everything, man. Celebrating birthday. 
Man, we got so many fucking celebrations nowadays. Yeah. They got like National Friday, National whatever. Yeah. Anything to celebrate, they just make up a fucking holiday for it. Like a, like a, anything, man. It, yeah. Rather than somebody said, oh, it's International Pizza Day or some shit like that. Like, what the fuck, man? You worried about International Pizza Day? Like, the hell is wrong with you? Yep. That's why how these people think, man. They, all they think is fucking vanity yep. and vain, stupid shit, man. That's yeah. what the Lord's gonna come and destroy you, man. Yep. You gonna be destroyed, man. When you least expect it, man. Like Maxwell yeah. said, we didn't see it coming. That's right. Yeah, you didn't see it coming because you wasn't looking for it, man. And then the black woman was like, "Oh, we should have loved her." Yeah. What the hell? You should have loved the Most High, man. That's right. Well, there's no use of loving anybody. Harder, man. Yeah. That ain't gonna save you. Loving your kids ain't gonna save you. Save you. Man. Loving your family ain't gonna save you. Yeah. Loving your material goods ain't gonna save you. Yeah. Only the love of the Most High, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, can deliver you, man. And that's what the people don't see. That they rather walk in darkness, loving this fucking world that's vain. This is, uh. This is, um. First, uh, it says, First John. 2 and 15. First John, 2 and 15. First John, 2 and 15. Whosoever hated his brother is a murderer. Block it, block it, block it. First John, 2 and 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are, there, are, that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in them. That's right, man. If you love this world, we should have loved harder. And you don't even know what love is, man. You don't know what real love is, man. You think that allowing people to do whatever they want to do, live however they want to live, that's love, accepting everything? That's not love. That's stupidity. That's wickedness, man. That's folly. Right. The scripture says that you love, the, love not the things of the world, neither the things that are in it, man. Two-thirds of our own feelings are in the world, man. We don't love them, man. Again, it says, but you people say, I believe in the Bible. I believe in God. You, you so-called black Spanish Native Americans, you were the, you the first ones in the churches frothing and seizing up, man. Talking about you love God, man. But you don't even follow his ways, man. That's right. Hey, you're a bunch of hypocrites, man. Hey, and that judgment is going to come upon you when you least suspect it again. 1 John 2 and 15. 1 John 2 and 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in it, in the world. Love not the world, these are the things that are in the world, man. Hey, can you look that up on the blue letter? See uh, what that word world is, man? Love not the world, 2 and 15. Love not the world, these are the things that are in the world. What's in this world, man? Homosexuality, lesbianism, pedophilia, lying, murdering, stealing. Wickedness, man. There's nothing but wickedness in this world, man. That's all that's here, man. And all of that is in the world of Israel too, man. That's the word for it? Okay, that's Israel. So, hey, hey, the Lord, he don't even love all his people, man. Go ahead. Oh, uh, uh, that's all right. You don't got to read it. Is it? Uh, you're the kings that are in the world. Yeah, that's God. He's a lot of good men. Yeah. It says, love not the world, it says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world, cosmos, and cosmos, yeah, well, hey, love not all Israel, man, neither the things that are in Israel, all Israel, man, because everything we just named is in our people, man, and that's telling you that the Lord is not even dealing with the whole world, he didn't even write Ochimene here, man, that, that there is, 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 is Israel, the world of Israel, man, a cosmos, man, an ordinate group, a separate group, love not the things that are in them, Neither, neither the people that are in the world, man. Again, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, I'm sorry, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but of the world. And that's a gay pride day, man. Pride day. Lust, give it into your lust. Give it into your, your carnal, most carnal desires. That's not of the most high. Oh, but the, 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 the black just said we should love more. That's what you were talking about, man. And we should love more. 
We can just accept everything that's in the world harder. And you ain't see it coming. You ain't see your judgment coming, man. Okay? We've been up and down this block preaching this word. Yahweh Bashan Yahushai had the apostles and the elders all out, all week long, preaching this word. Every major city. Hey, but you talking about we didn't see it coming, man. Of course, because you were too busy uh, indulging in your wickedness, man. Proverbs 19 and 24, judgment, judgments are prepared for scorners and stripes for the back of fools. Yup, judgment is for scorners, man. You got a lot of scoffers, man. You got a lot of our people, man. Oh, yeah, man. Our people Hell are yeah. the only ones that buck up against the scriptures, man. Yep. You got the so-called Ammonites, the well, Japanese, the Koreans, the Chinese, the Ilamites, the uh, East Indians. They don't come and scoff. They don't they don't say anything. They just walk by. They don't care, man. But our people, you Israelites, you come up against the scriptures, man. Y'all love to fucking scorn and scoff, man. And you like to come with that Christian bullshit, the plantation Christianity, to love everybody and shit. These heathens don't love you, man. Like, you can't see it, like, the fuck is wrong with you? Hey, this is Ezekiel, chapter 3, verse 5. For thou art not sent to a people of a strange speech and of a, and of a hard language, but to the house of Israel. So the apostles, the how about you know what Shai sent Ezekiel, along with the rest of the prophets, he didn't send us to these other nations, man. Of the people of a hard speech that we can't understand. Hey, because who the people that we're, um, that we're going to, we're going to speak to, hey, they can, they can understand the language we're speaking in English, Spanish, at the time Hebrew, okay? But thou art not sent to a people of a strange speech and of a hard language, but to the house of Israel, not to many people of a strange speech and of, in a, and of a hard language, whose words thou canst not understand. Surely, had I sent thee to them, thou, they would have hearkened unto thee. That's why if the Lord would have sent his prophets to these other nations, to these heathens, and they would have heard it, man, because they get all into it, man. Their, their natural God, they go, they go head first into it, man. These groups, they go all the way into Buddhism. These, these Arabs, they get all the way into uh, Islam. Okay? And they wreck their God, man. They don't forsake their God for, for another God. The Lord said, had he sent us to uh, another nation, they would have they listened, man. Again, it says, not as many, not as the many people of a strange speech and of a hard language, whose words thou canst not understand. Surely, had I sent thee to them, they would have hearkened to thee. So the Lord didn't he didn't send a prophet to the nation of Moab, Annie. They thought they got a strange tongue. He said, surely had he sent them to, to us and up, they would have listened, man. It says, but the house of Israel will not hearken unto thee, but they will not hearken unto me. That's right, you need to hearken unto the most high. Yeah, how man? Hey, that's why we don't we don't take it as a surprise. When we see our people walk by here, they don't listen, man. They don't stop to act. The nigga woman, she, she got a cold cup of water going like this. Like tears. You know what I'm saying? She says, But the house of Israel will not hearken unto thee, but they will not hearken unto me. For all the house of Israel are impudent and hard-hearted. Hard-headed, man. That's hard-headed, man. They can hard hit it, man. They don't want to listen, man. And they think everything's going to be all good. They love Isaiah 30 and 9. Yeah. Yeah, Jake, Jake is hard headed, man. 
Okay? You don't want to hear the word. You don't want to hear the truth, man. You don't want to hear that you're the greatest people on the earth. You don't want to hear that the living power, the only living power, the how about seeing how shy, is for you and only you. You want the Lord to love everybody, accept everybody. You don't want your own culture. You don't want your own language. You don't want your own history. You want you want to grab onto these heathens' history and, and way of life, man. You don't even want your own people, man. You rather bring an Edomite child into the world like that little girl that you walk by. She's a terror, man. Her ass going into hardcore slavery, man. And her mom's gonna be ashamed. Her mother's gonna be ashamed that she gave birth to that thing, man. Anything in heaven, man. The book of Isaiah chapter 30, verse 8. Now go right in before them in a table and note it in a book that it may be for the time to come forever and ever that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear. And that's the people on this side here, man. You're a bunch of lying ass, deaf ass people, man. You don't want to hear the truth, man. Right? Children that will not hear the law of the heavenly father. Yeah, when you bring the law of the Lord up, we tell you don't eat shrimp, crab, pork, and lobster. Oh, nigga, I can eat that. I, I love that. No matter how much it kill you and make you sick, and, and, and you hear that the Lord don't want you to eat that, you will indulge in it. Oh, so you not to smoke weed and do drugs. Oh, nigga, I can pop Molly, man. Hey, it ain't, it ain't what go in me, man. It's what come out me. But what's coming out to you is wickedness, man. Whether it's coming out your mouth or your ass, man. It's wickedness and abomination. That's right. Okay? You don't want to hear the law of the Lord. You don't want to hear uh, to love your brother, which is your neighbor. You want to love your enemy, the so-called white man, and the rest of these heathens, man. Hey, hey, the white man can go in the church and kill a thousand of your own people, man. Oh, I still love you. You think that you get brownie points because you love the dude that he messed with your people, man. I still love you, man. But your own people run away and step on your Jordans, man. You don't want to show the nigga no mercy, man. Hey, you just want to destroy him, man. I, I got to kill that nigga. That nigga looked at me wrong. That nigga said, that nigga said, rah to me, man. I got to kill him, man. That's how you do, man. You don't want to hear the law of the Lord. Jeremiah 30 and 10. I say so like, I, I say 30 and 10. Would say to the seers, see not. Yeah, you see, to the prophets, man. Because if we, because the, the seers are the prophets, man. You say, uh, you say, don't see, don't, don't tell me what Yahweh's going to do to me, man. Don't tell me about the destruction that's coming to me, man. Don't see that. Go ahead. And to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. Speak unto us smooth things. Prophesy deceits. Like, hold on. Uh, read that again. Isaiah 30 and 10, which say to the seers, see not. Yep. And to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. Speak unto us smooth things. Yeah, you tell us, don't, don't, don't tell you the right thing to do, man. Prophesy the seat. You want to hear smooth things, man. Hey, can you look up that word smooth? Can I say it? Uh, I got it, I got it. Hold on. I say it through your fucking goose, man. Yeah, man. Hey, you fucking the, the heathens, man. Hey, they better enjoy it, man. Because you're never going to get this again, man. Never. Never, ever, man. Never, man. Enjoy it while you got it. Smoke it while you got it. Uh, you not prophesying to us for that word smooth. That word for smooth. That word for smooth. That Hebrew word there is kalakwa. Kalakwa. Okay. It says portion parcel ground smooth, smoothness, flattery, man. Slippery place. Flattery. So that's what they want to hear, man. Flattering words. Oh, it's okay, sister Jenkins. You got three baby daddies, three kids, man. You ain't committed adultery. 
Let's look, look at what the Lord told, told, the, told the woman that committed adultery. It's okay. Where are, you, where are those that said sin? Something like that. But he told, what did the Lord tell her? He said, he said, go ye and sin no more, man. It don't matter that you were homosexual. Brother Johnson, God still loves you. God still wants you. He's still working with you. He ain't done with you yet. That's, that's what you want to hear, man. You want to hear flattery, man. But when you come in the middle of the Lord, you're not going to hear no flattery, man. You're right. not going to hear no smooth words. You eat them right, you eat them, you heathens, you're going to hear your destruction. Two thousand of Israel, you don't want to listen, you're going to hear your destruction. That's right. Ain't no smooth talking over here, man. God talking and smooth talking. Smooth walking, man. Those days are over, man. The God of the Bible, he's coming back to judge this place, man. Tell him. Tell him. Yeah, you're right. Tell him. Right, man. Tell him, bro. He's coming back to judge this place, yeah. man. Yeah. He's not coming back to accept nobody except his elect, man. The God of the Bible, Yahweh you know, was shot, is coming back to destroy this place. Two thirds of, uh, of Israel, man. That's right. Ain't no smooth talking, man. I got a sister, brother. It is uh, Matthew 23 and 7. Matthew 23 and 7. Matthew 23 and 7. Matthew 23, sorry, Matthew 20, 23 and 37. O Jerusalem, O, Je o Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou that killest the prophets and stonest them which are sent unto thee. How often would I have gathered thy children together, even as a hen gathered her chickens under her wings, and ye would not. That's right, man. And the Lord said, O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, that you. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. All right, hey, man. You could be an Israelite, man. Hey, the scripture says, O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, that kill us a prophet, all the men that were sent to you, even your house shot. All the men, so, and like, what did, what did the Lord say to Ezekiel, man? He said, hey, they're not going to listen to you because they want to listen to me. And right. Yahweh Shai is the son of the most high. He can't get here in the flesh. And y'all ain't want to hear him, man. Hey, you niggas killed him. All the rest of the prophets, man. We, we came down. He got just kept killing us, man. And the Lord said he would have gathered you a long time ago, man. Had you turned from your wickedness and turned 100% to him, man. But you would not. You wouldn't receive it, man. You wanted them smooth things, man. You mean? Jeremiah 30 and 11, get ye out of the way, turn aside of the path. Hey, that's what you tell us, man. Get out of here, man. Get out of my face, man. Hey, them dates, man. Hey, I ain't gonna hear that shit, man. Hey, that Bible is for the white man. Hey, the Bible condemns the so-called white man. I ain't gonna hear that shit, man. God love everybody, man. I'm a Muslim. I know I'm an Israelite, but I'm a Muslim. Hey, you niggas are oxymorons, man. Look it up, nigga. Cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. Yeah, hey, get out hey, hey, tell God I ain't trying to hear that. And you get out of here, man. We ain't trying to hear that. Get away from us, man. That's what you say, man. But then you wonder why you destroyed. You wonder why you niggas in the ghetto. You wonder why the heathens is all over you, man. Having their way with you, man. Like a slut on a Saturday, man. You wonder why. Hey, you don't want to hear the Lord, man. So the Lord said you don't want to hear him? Fine. I'm gonna destroy you. Hey, uh, Amos 9 and 8. Amos 9 and 8. That was it on that? Oh, no, it's, it's yeah, hold on to it and go to Amos 9 and 8, man. Hey, that's what the most you. How about you don't try? They're gonna destroy you, man. That's how you niggas are going to get it, man. The worst, man. Hey, because when the white, when the Esau comes down, having great wrath because you know you have a short time, uh, you're gonna be the brunt of that ass whooping, man. You niggas and stickers and, 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 and uh, tomahawks, man, you're gonna be the brunt of that, man. The book of Isaiah, oh, Salakia, Amos 9, verse 8. Behold, 
the eye of the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, is upon, is upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from the face of the earth. Right, and that sinful kingdom start off with Israel, but now it's America. And the eyes of the Lord are the angels, man. Go ahead. Saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, so said he, the Lord Yahweh. So he said he's going to destroy it off the face of the earth, saving he will not utterly destroy the house of Israel. Why? Because he's about to be elected. Mm -hmm. um, For lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations. So Yahweh said he's going to command and sift the house of Israel among all nations. Like and that's as corn and, is sifted in so, the seed. Hold on. And that's what he's doing right now, man. How is he sifting through all the nations with this word, man? Hey, this is the system right here, man. This word goes out, the elect will hear it, man. The very few. The rest of them, they're going to fall through it, man. That's why you don't see a big crowd here trying to hear this word, man. That's why you don't see a whole bunch of Israelites trying to hear this word, man. Hey, because the Lord is sifting the house of Israel. Can you read that again, man? This Amos chapter 9, verse 8. In verse 9, for lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations. He said he will command and sift it, and that's what he's doing among all nations. That's why you got Israelites right. waking up in all these different nations, man. Go ahead. Like corn is sifted in a seed, yep. or yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. Yeah, so the least grain, the least, the least grain is, is the, the elect of Israel is not going to fall on the earth, man. Go ahead. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. All the sinners of my people, all the sinners of the Lord's people, you're going to die by the sword, which is the modern day gun, famine. Go ahead, can you read it again? Amos 9 and 10. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword which say, the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. Yeah, and that's right, man. And that's what you're saying. And you may not say it in the word, but you say it in your deed, man. Oh, now I'm a, I'm a teacher local, man. Hey, everybody got to die, right? That's what they say, man. Hey, but you all know that this destruction that's coming to you is not going to be a quick death. You're not just going to pass away in your sleep. Hey, you're going you're gonna to go out of this thing death by pain, man. Okay? Death by pain. Everything we, we say to you, you're going to know it after death by pain, man. Good. That was your name. Okay. I have uh, Isaiah 44, I mean, Jeremiah 44 and 15. Huh. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 44, verse 15. Then all the men which knew that their wives I burnt incense unto other gods. And all the women that stood by, a great multitude, even of, even of all the people that dwelt in the land of Egypt in Pathros, yep. answered Jeremiah, saying, As for the word that thou hast spoken unto us in the name of Yahweh by Shem Shai, we will not hearken unto thee. And that's what they said, man. They said that to Jeremiah, man. And you're saying it today right now, man. Are you proud niggas, man? I worked hard. I was in the military. I was on my job. I got the right to do what I'm doing, man. I earned it. I'm going to do what I want to do, man. Everything that you said, they miss me with that, man. That's what Jake say, man. They said they, they, they shrug their shoulders. They turn their head like they, they clog up the air. They stop the air. They shrug their shoulders like, nigga, get out of here, man. Go ahead, bro. But we will certainly do whatsoever thing goeth forth out of our own mouth. Yeah, you said we're going to do whatever goes forth out of our mouth. So whatever you think of, that's what you're saying. We, we just going to go do it, man. You're not trying to hear correction. Who are you to judge me? Hey, so you don't even know the scriptures, man. Hey, the Lord said, he that is spirit and judges all things, yet is he not judging himself, man? And if he knows to say, oh, who are you to judge me? Only God can judge me. Hey. But the most I put is man on the earth to, to put judgment. Yep. So what are you talking about? Hey, you niggas listening to Tupac too much, man. That's, that's why niggas say that. Yeah. That's why niggas get that shit tattooed on their body. That's why they, they bring it out of their mouth. 
Out of their heart, only God can judge them. Who told you that? Who told you that? Huh? Two bucks, that nigga's dead. And guess what? Yeah, how about you know I'm trying to judge that nigga? He shot that nigga up five times, and the nigga still ain't get it. He got shot up and he missed. So they, as a, as a, as a, as a reminder, hey, nigga told you, you need to stop doing what you're doing. Whether you was a homosexual, you were doing whatever you was doing, the Lord was trying to tell you to stop doing it, man. But you like, fuck that, I'm going to do what I got to do. I'm going to start my soul over again. He got shot up again and he died, man. Now you got all these jakes running around here talking about only God can judge you, man. But you don't, that's because you don't know the scriptures, man. You read it. To burn incense oh, unto man. the queen of heaven and yeah. to pour out drink offerings unto her. And that's what you're doing now, man. And that's, you, you over here, women worshiping and shit. Okay? You know, these hoes walking around butt ass naked and you worship that bitch, man. She's all on a fucking Instagram. But naked, bro. Yo, I lie to you right. not, brother. On Instagram, butt ass naked, bro. Butt naked, bro. But she's a queen. Hey. She's something to worship. You, 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 you I'm, I'm still worship my black woman, my black queen, my black princess. Man, fuck all that, man. And hey, you hoes ain't no princess. You are queens. The word queen means prostitute, man. And that's what you are, man. You're nothing but prostitutes, man. Looking for a sucker, man. Looking for a trick. Good, that's right. As we have done, we and our fathers, our kings and our princes in the city of Judah yep. and in the streets of Jerusalem. Yep. But then had we plenty of bitch. So like, but then had we plenty vitals? Uh, yeah, uh, 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 vitals. But what, then what uh, what uh, what uh, what verse is that? Uh, it's Jeremiah 44 and 17. Can you read it? Um, I'm going to read it again. Uh, Jeremiah 44 and 17. But we will certainly do whatsoever thing goeth forth out of our own mouth to burn incense. Yeah, it's victim, it's victim, it's victim, it's like boom. And that's the thing because, hey, you niggas are getting blessed by Satan, man. Hey, you niggas are selling your soul out to Esau. And you get the house, you get the sun, you get all kinds of food. The majority of you niggas are in the Islam. You worshiping that Allah, that Buddha, and you think that life is really working out for you, man. You, got, you think you got the woman in order that you covered up? You might, you might got another bitch in the house, another wife in the house. You think it's all good? You talk all soft and shit. You speak that, that Islamic shit, that, that Arab tongue. You really think it, 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 you really think you're making it? You being blessed, man. Hey, I, I'm worshiping Allah. I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing it. I'm doing, and you got like dick that do that shit to the 100 percent, man, to the max, man. Nigga don't, hey, that nigga, uh, I don't know if you know this is basketball player, Kareem Abdul Jabbar, man. That nigga name was, uh, I forget what that nigga's real name was, man. But the nigga changed his name and changed his whole lifestyle, man. And then, and then he was kept in hell while he was a Muslim, man. And, but it, the nigga went through it, he tried to, he, hey, he was, he was being a lion in his own house. His woman had to, his woman hated being in order. You know what I'm saying? He had to, he, he said, look, no woman in this house to talk to a man, he said his, his friends used to go over to his house and, and, and they used to say, look man, this, what, this life man, you would never say that to us man. Hey, that's, that's right. But you do, you'll follow that. But you won't follow the laws of the Lord, man. He said, look man, when we stop, when we stop worshiping Satan, when we stop worshiping the queen of heaven, we ain't got no food. But you didn't understand, that was your judgment. So they was like, why was it, how about you have a job? Because when you come into the truth, hey, you're gonna suffer, man. Hey, you, you're gonna get just what you need. You're gonna get your, 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 uh, you're gonna get your daily bread. But your daily bread is not enough for two thirds of Israel, man. That ain't enough. You want your daily bread and then some. So that's why you won't stop leaving off from worshiping the Queen of Heaven, man. Worshiping Satan. I'm gonna get a piece. Yes, seven and seven. The Book of Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad, and a gift destroys the heart. Yeah, a wise man is going to be upset at the oppression that he sees people in that he's living in. Man. But a gift, when you receive that gift, whatever reward it is, you forget that. Hey, 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 hey all them artists and all them artists and actors, hey, they, they don't remember, they don't remember the oppression that they're in until they catch the hell, man. 
till they broke. Till they can't act again. Till they ain't got another hit. Then, then, then they wanna go, oh man, I'm being oppressed. But while you was living good, man, you forgot about that shit, man. You got it, bro. God, and I was gonna give a person an account, man. Oh, with my sister and shit. Hey, when she was oppressed, when she came into this country, man, because we came from the South America, and she had to go through a bunch of shit, man, because my mother came here with four children, and it was her and her husband, and we had to go to a lot of hell, man, and she was, like, older, man. she was, like, 18, 17, and now that she's rich and shit, she want to oppress me and her brother, bro, like, that shit is fucked up, they're fucking demons, bro. She forgot, she forgot, she forgot when she was living in the goddamn favela. Down there in Argentina, man. Or, I mean, sorry, Columbia, man. She forgot when they was living hand to mouth, man. Hey, hey, I told you, this is the worst way, man, since the white man and that woman, man. And that nigga woman is the woman of all you tribes, man. Hey, because they, when they get that power over you, man, they don't let it off. They don't let it off of you, man. They don't show you no mercy, man. Her own brother, man. She forget that. You, hey, you remember the day when y'all was, y'all ain't had much to eat. Your mom was very straight and by, right? And she forgot those days, man. She said in her mind, I don't want to go back to that. I'm going to do what I got to do. You know? And this is your brother, uh, Shalawam777. Uh, he uh, posted his uh, script. I'm going to get it real quick. Leviticus 19 and 15. Leviticus 19 and 15. It says, Ye shall do no unrighteousness in judgment. Thou shalt not respect the person of the poor, nor honor the person of the mighty, but in righteousness shalt thou judge thy neighbor. So we can judge you niggas, man. In righteousness, that's what we're doing. Hey, when we tell you don't smoke cigarettes, commit adultery, spiritual fornication, guess what? We're not doing that. So we can judge you on that. When we tell you to stop eating strip bread, pork, and lobster, guess what? We're not doing that. So we can judge you on that. We're judging you in righteousness, man. Right. But you don't want to hear it come from us. If the white man was sitting on every corner and every major city telling these people on the side here that they were the Israelites, they would listen, yeah. man. Hey, you niggas will listen, man. You were harking. You were harking, man. Hey, she's going to be a concubine, man. Hey, that white bitch going to be a concubine, man. Hey, Edomite, she's going to be a concubine, man. A sex slave. Got her ass kicked out. And they created that. They created it. That's why our women emulate that shit, man. But then when you get back and get the bomb, hey, she's gonna be turned down. She's gonna get turned out, man. And, and that's what they doing, man. These he, doubles, they're choosing a the team, man. And they're choosing us, man. I got a quick read on what we were just speaking on. Go ahead, bro. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 16, verse 19. Thou shalt not rush judgment, thou shalt not respect persons, neither take a gift, for a gift doth blind the eyes of the wise and pervert the words of the righteous. And that's right, man. You give, you give Jake a gift. He don't want to, oh, I'm sorry. It, it happens. If you had kings that did that. Saul did that shit, man. Uh, with the, 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 with the indoor, man. He had put a, a decree out that all oh, witches are supposed to die. But then he wanted, he wanted something from her that gift to speak to Saul, because he wanted to speak to the most high. He was like, hey, Saul, I'm not, uh, hey, Samuel. Then Saul was like, Samuel, can you speak to the most high for me? It's like, look, man, why you waiting there by my sleep, man? Why do you disturb me from my rest, man? Hey, tomorrow you and your son gonna be right here with me, man. Hey, the most I already judged you, man. Right. Ain't nobody gonna speak on your behalf, man. And the scripture says it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. It's a fearful thing to fall in the hands of the most high, man. And can't, can't nobody deliver you from that, man. So, likewise, when you rush judgment, meaning you put your judgment up, or you, you be merciful because you got a gift. Hey, that's what happens when you court judges, man. These judges, they get paid off. Oh, he's not guilty. You done guilt 10 people. But you got a good lawyer, and you pay the judge off, man. The judge is in the pocket. That's why this place got to go, man. Because they do nothing but rush judges. They said a gift to what? says, neither take a gift, for a gift does blind the eyes so, of the wise. So don't take a gift, because it blind the eyes of the wise, man. You, you Israelites, what the fuck is the wise on the earth, man? Hey, you get that gift? Oh, man, I, that's okay. Like the niggas in the rest, man. That's why a lot of them don't talk about this. Or them gays, man. Or almost like the sodomites, man. And if they do, they'll, they'll, they'll retract and put the shit. They'll retract, but they were just talking about killing their own people. But they'll retract, yeah, but they'll retract. 
Oh, I didn't mean it about gay people. Why? Because that gets destroyed the judgment, man. What? Oh, and pervert the words of the righteous. And pervert the words of the righteous, man. Your Creflo Dollars, okay, your T.D. Jakes, your Joel Osteens, they got that gift. And now they it corrupt the, the righteousness of the Bible, man. That's why, that's why, that's a lot of reasons why they don't even want to hear it, man. They was in that plantation Christianity, and they were told that God loves everybody, but these niggas are, you in slavery, man. And you're like, well, where's God love me at? Well, I, I'm in slavery. Because you listen to the white man. Love your master. Do what the master say. That's it. But they didn't know that scripture. They didn't understand that scripture. And that's why you, Jake, you don't want to hear the word now, man. Okay? You had every movement in the world. You had Islam movement. You had the, uh, you had the black power movement. The, uh, the brown movement. The Indian, the native Indian power movement. You had all these movements. And none of them worked for you, man. It all fell. Your woman still went to the... To the white man, your, your son went to the to, to be a homosexual. Hey, we good. Hey, you had a black woman, man. Take our ass, man. We don't care. Fuck that bitch, man. We ain't, we ain't worried about the nigga woman, man. But we just saying, they went to that shit. You ran to it. You ran to it. Now, white people did a set, a uh, you know why that's where it says, uh, the most high is in uh, six Corinthians. Chapter 13. Verse 34. Uh, first Corinthians 13. One and nine. Yeah. The book of Second Timothy, chapter one, verse nine. Who have saved us and called us with the holy calling, not according to our words, but according to His own purpose and grace, which was given us in Hamashiach Yahushai. Get a first one with me four nine. Father has set forth us the apostles last 
as it were approved to them. So yeah, how about you know what Shai said the apostles, as we as the apostles told us, we're all we're all apostles, just went out. He said that's the last, man, starting with the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone. He said I'm left, man, the left. You had the again, you had the Black Panther movement, you had the Brown Power movement, you had the uh, the Native Indian American movement, you had all these different movements that were supposed to bring these two and his son here together as unity, but all of that shit fell. But he said just the last, man, as they were appointed to death. Go ahead. For we are made a spectacle unto the world. Yeah, we're made a spectacle unto the world. I bet that word world is uh, cosmos. That's first thing we four, right? Anybody, man. Why don't you take care of that kid, bro? Rude, man. That's cosmos, bro. Yeah, cosmos, man. So go ahead. Do that again. First Corinthians 4 and 9, where I think that the Heavenly Father has said forth us the apostles last. Yeah, so the Heavenly Father, he set forth the apostles last, man. Okay, go ahead. As if they were approved to death. As if it were approved to death. For we are made a spectacle unto the world. We're made a spectacle to the world of Israel, man. We're a spectacle to them, man. You know what I'm saying? We, if we were in that silk water, that sweet, that sweet water fruit, they, they will listen, man. They had a mega church. Oh, God. Now that they ain't about to get to the church, and they will get dressed to the church. Church Sunday looking all dead. You be with it, man. But we're made a spectacle unto the world, man. A gazing spot. Good. And to angels, and even, to men. Even to angels, because the angels know what we're saying is true, man. And to the men of the different nations, hey, they know. But the angels, they know. They're like, man, these people really ain't listening, man. They don't know. They ain't heard. But the angels, they know. Even Satan, he's an angel on the left-hand side. He knows the power of the Lord, man. And the scripture says the angels, they know that there's a God and they tremble, man. They tremble, but you niggas ain't trembling, man. You ain't scared. You ain't like it's all good. It's all great. Everything's going to be wonderful, man. Everything's going to be great. But it's not going to be wonderful. It's not going to be great. The Lord is going to judge this place, man. He is going to judge two thirds of Israel, man. He is going to destroy America with nuclear fire, man. And y'all act like it ain't going to happen. Oh, everything's going to be good. What, what kingdom on the earth you know lasts forever? It's just the kingdom of heaven. No kingdom, man. All kingdoms had an expiration date. They had a start date. They had a finishing date. So what make America any different, man? What makes you think that this place is going to last forever, man? And this place is about to be destroyed, man. Right. You're acting like it's, it's, going, it's going to be good, man. So we're gazing about who are these guys? They got Bibles in their hands. They're wearing dresses. They're yelling at people. That's what they do. Oh, man, I'm going to get crazy. Hey, we're the most sane people on the earth, man. You the insane people. You the ones without understanding. Right. You gotta go. First ten, we are born for the money, God. Yeah. First Corinthians four and ten. We are fools for our sake. Yeah, we're fools for your Hamashiach's sake, man. Go ahead. Oh. But ye are wise in Hamashiach. Yeah, we're wise in Yahweh Shai. Why? Because these words, man. Hey, this is the top knowledge on the earth, man. The Bible, man. 
all that metaphysical bullshit, all of that uh, science, so called science, philosophy, so called, all that college education shit, that shit is dumb, man. That's dumb. This is the top knowledge on the earth, and we're wise in it, man. Not on our own, of our own doing, but because how about you know what science said, man? He did it, he gave us the knowledge, man. What? We are weak, but you are strong. Yeah, we're weak right now. We're, we ain't got no power. And you're strong. You got an army. You still got an army. You got, you got everything, man. Go ahead. He says, ye are honorable, Salaka. Ye are honorable, but we are despised. Yay. Yeah. Hey, oh, man. Hey, Mr. Terry. Don't get them alone, man. They make other people honorable. But we're the ones being despised. They lying on us. Talking about we're rapists, pedophiles, and the straight up slander, right. right? But you the ones being honored, man. Everybody listens to you. Everybody listens to T.D. Jakes. He's the most dishonorable, most unloyal, most god integrity having demon on the earth, man. Amongst many. Right. But you listen to him. You listen to the rich, man. Because we ain't out here with the, with the rich garments. You don't, we're, we're being despised. All we doing is telling you the truth of the Bible. That's all we doing. You can call the cops on us last week, trying to get us locked up, lied on us, straight up lied on us. But yeah, how about you know trying to deliver this, man? That's right. That's a testimony for us, man. To testify of the power of y'all by the other side. But again, we're made the off scour. We're made the we're made to be the uh the uh the worst of the worst. We're the spot. You get it? First Corinthians 4, verse 10. But we are fools of for Hamashiach's sake, but ye are wise in Christ. We are fools for Hamashiach's sake, but ye are wise in Yahweh's God. We're wise in Yahweh's God. We may be fools for his sake, but we're wise in him. Go ahead. We are, we are weak, but ye are strong. You are honorable, but we are despised. You are honorable, but we're despised. Man, here he is. He's, uh, he's really doing this shit. He's really being a pedophile. And this shit happened in the Catholic Church. Uh, 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 where they had to make that one dude um, retire. They had to make him retire. Yeah, but they, they still, they praise this nigga, man. Uh, the Pope, they praise this dude. If the Pope was to come in the street, in that little ass thing, all these people would be putting to him, man. Bow down, down to him and she's kissing his leg. All that shit. But, but, but he's the most despicable thing on the earth, man. That's right. That dude, that dude touch children for a living, man. And they don't mind that fighting the couple of their teachers for the public. But they, and, and, and that dude always did was retire. He got a fat history coming to him. Hey, because he put a lot of work in for Satan, man. And they wait till the nigga got hella old. That nigga about a year from death, man. But, Y'all honorable, but we're despised. Here it is, the so-called white man is actually fucking up the food. They got a little, a little gay boy, he's three years old. He's a, he's a social media darling, man, because he came out of the gate. But we're despised. We're not doing none of that shit. We ain't got no power here. The only power we got is the power of the house of the sunshine and his word. We, right. we, we, don't, we don't make laws. Okay, we don't force agendas, but we're despised. You read it again. Yes. You're honorable, but we are despised. Yeah, you're honorable, but we're despised. Even unto this present hour, we both, we both hunger and thirst. Yeah, because we ain't got much. We don't got no food. We don't got no... We, I mean, we just got enough to get through. Can you read it again? First Corinthians 4 and 11. Even unto this present hour, we both hunger and thirst. Even unto this present hour, we're hungry and we're thirsty, man. Hey, how is that in the heaven? A, a, a for sure dwelling place, man. Go ahead. Oh. And are naked and are buffeting. Yeah, we're naked and we get buffeted, meaning we get hit. I have no certain dwelling place. And we ain't got no certain dwelling place. Me and the brother, we went to a place yesterday, and uh, the people there, they were, uh, man, we walked through a whole a poverty uh, neighborhood, man. It was like a neighborhood of homeless people, man. They, they, made these, they made these houses up, man. A whole neighborhood, man. 
I mean, the brother was talking like we want to take this away from home. If, 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 if the Lord had it where I went and paid, next month we'll be out in the street. But we don't got no for sure dwelling places, man. Good. And labor working with our own hands. Well, labor working with our own hands since y'all say that we bums. We ain't got no jobs. We don't take care of our children. That's what you say, man. But that's all a lie, man. Hey, brothers are working, man. Even the apostles and elders, they're working. And they don't even have to, man. They shouldn't have to. But they have to because of where we at, man. We gotta work. Go ahead. Being revealed, we Being bled. reviled, being reviled. We're reviled, man. What's that word, reviled, man? What's the, uh? Twelve. Born twelve. Uh, we're in the born twelve. Keep the street, bro. And, uh, like we were speaking on, we're not honored because we don't have a piece of paper given to us by the white man saying we know the knowledge of the Lord, man. That's what you people look for. Y'all go to the churches because the pastor is able to, to make, establish that congregation because he went to, uh, to, a, to a seminary to get that piece of paper, which is nothing, man. The Lord said he, he was going to choose the wheat of the world, man. To, to teach his word, man. Not not the wise, it says not many wise, not many mighty. Because he wasn't gonna choose the so-called scholars nowadays to preach his word, man. Because he knew they were gonna do it for uh, for money, uh, deceiving people. And that's what you people were looking for. Y'all looking for somebody in a tie with, with a diploma saying that you know the scriptures. Yeah from the white man, which yep. hates everybody, man. Yep. Which is a fucking walking plague, which is the wicked. Yep. And that, that word for the vow is uh, uh, Loiter Rio, and it said to reproach, with well and revow, he abuse upon, man. Hey, it's all with the apostles and the elders, or the brothers on the that's what you're doing, man. You're even abusing upon us. You're railing against us. We're not doing none of this stuff that they say we're doing. Again, you have polite, he comes, uh, so-called brother polite, he comes out of a thing where, where his leader was caught molesting 134 people, man. What happened? Are uh, we speaking about uh, uh, how we're about and how certain people, we're out here speaking the truth, but you got people in the world that's really abusing children, murdering them, lying. But that's, they, that's, the that's the world. We're saying how, how we're being accused of those things and we're not doing that. Cool. With the, with the men of the Lord. Yeah, with the men of the Lord. Speaking of Bible. All we're doing is preaching the truth, but people, they hate us. They do hate us. They do. Because we're telling the truth. He said they hate me because I speak the truth. Even the Lord. Yes, they do. That's the, thing. No, that's the, that's the truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of our people yeah. are talking about Benjamin. Right. That's not, that's not $100 bill. That's not Benjamin. No, that's a, that's a Benjamin. Probably. Yeah, we buy it. We're not talking about Benjamin. Yeah, no. Well, we're the Israelites. Yeah. According to the flesh and spirit, man. So these people in the crowd right here, we are hating amongst the whole earth, man. Unless we're doing something to entertain the people. Unless we're doing something to benefit the other people of the world. Hey, you don't like us, man. That's not That is 100%. Okay, so if that's not true, yeah. Are we not living in a society that's perpetuated the supremacy of one people over another people? Well, I feel like a minority here, if that makes you feel better. You do, you I'm do. Yeah, yeah, and in and, and Hawaii, you are. You yeah, yeah they remember but you, all the time. But, 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 but I think, here's my thing. I, 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 I don't have an inward mindset. I don't think about me. I have an outward mindset. Right. So I think about the whole utopia. Look at that. So when I think about the whole world, right. Um, so we don't want to get along, man. You got race blind, you got race issues piling up all over the earth right now, man. Right. And, 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 and people have words about that religion, they have words about religion, they have words about stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's not about like religion. It's about how people just say, you know, 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 you but in the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 5. Trust in the heavenly Father with all thy heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. So, you, so the point of the matter is, when it comes to people's thoughts, you can put the trust in the, the, the power of the Bible, and lean not unto your own thoughts. Verse 
six, in all thine ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct that path. Right, and so the world is not acknowledging his, acknowledging his power. You got people saying that God doesn't exist. You got people saying that his son never existed, which they call him Jesus, his name is the Holy Spirit. You got people saying that his people are forgotten people, and his salvation is for the whole world. You got people saying that these people are here, they, and they, that's what they're leading to their own thoughts, man. They, oh, they say that so-called Latinos are animals. They say that so-called Negroes and Native Indians are a bunch of uh, death spots and losers. They say that. Even you may not say that. But let's see that in the Bible that says that. It does, man. It says there's a spy on it. Okay. Let's see that in the Bible. Okay. This is, uh, let's see it. I like that. Go to uh, Jeremiah 30 and 16. Jeremiah 30 and 16. Jeremiah 13 and 16. It says, Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, yep. and all the adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. So, well, what is the dumb, Every Maybe. one of them are the, the nations. Outside of Israel. Outside of these people here. Oh, so these people, yeah, okay. people, these people, they're, they're being devoured. Why? Because they're being despised by these other nations around the them. So these nations, because they despise them and devour them and destroy them, they're going to go into captivity. Not these people, but we're in it right now. So we, we had it worse than this. But now, the people that put us in this captivity, they're going to go into it. Why do these people put us in this captivity? Because of this fight, when you read Psalm 83, it says what? It says that uh, uh, all these nations, they came together, they were confederate against them. They said, let's let the name of Israel be no more remembered. So here's, a, here's my question. So it's about history. Yes. Okay. So, the scriptures are going to the Bible. Yeah. Salvation and redemption is for the children of Israel. So how do we even negotiate with Israel? So you can't, well, first of all, there's no negotiation with us. So, oh, no, not us. Uh, I'm talking about Israel. Okay, okay, the country is now they're, they're not the real people. They're not the real people. They're a bunch of insurgents. They took on a heritage that didn't belong to them. They got there in 1970 and said, no, for the declaration. The said that we were going to go back to Israel and the world was going to send us and bring us back to Israel. And we read Isaiah 14. But these people that are over here, they're all the world people. But they're not following the ways of the Lord. What about Psalm 35? Psalm 35, or where? Can we start it? It's Psalm 35 and 1. It says, Plead, I'm sorry, plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me. And that's, that's what plead means, judge. Judge my cause. Yeah, I'm not judge. It's plead. Okay, so, when you, so when, you, when you read that word plead, it means judge. I don't judge anybody. Okay, it means, it says, that's why they gave us asking the Lord to plead his cause against those that strive against him. Okay, it says, plead my cause. Oh Lord, the dumb that strive with me, fight against them, them, fight against them that them. fight against me. It ain't saying you put against me. If somebody is against you, if I was against you, then we're warned, we're fighting, because yeah. I'm against you. Now, they will see this call, as the Lord, to see this call against all those that are striving against me. And who was striving against me? Even his own people, at one point, but then all those other nations. A lot of times he was speaking to the Lord, he was speaking to the Lord, crying to the Lord, why? Because these nations were against them. It says, it says, take hold of the shield and buckle and stand up for my help. And that's what the Lord is going to do for the children of Israel. He's going to stand up for where the real children of Israel. Those people in Israel, the state of Israel, they are not the people of the Lord. Not bad. All right, man. Okay. You see, man. I'll take, I'll take hey, my name's Kennedy. All right, Kennedy, on the bar, man. Uh -huh. Take it easy, Kennedy. Have a good day. All right. And like we were saying earlier, man, our people, they don't come up to us. Hey, he, he saw him. Hey, he saw the bear with you, man. Hey, we didn't, we, hey, did we, did we attack him? We just put the word out. But yet we're hated. You hate us. You call us liars. You call us pedophiles. Okay, you call us thieves. But we're none of those things, man. Starting up with Apostle Sahara, man. Man, y'all got nothing but bad things to say about him. Well, guess what? Yeah, how about seeing our child in the middle of the Lord? We got nothing but good things to say about him, man. Starting off with the fact that he spent over 30 years of his life 
preaching and prophesying, man. That's right. So waiting for waiting for the elect of Israel, Lord willing, we're part of the elect of Israel to wake up, man, and to turn back toward the ways of our forefathers, which is worshiping your house and your was shot. But you call us all names, man. Why? Because you hate us, man. And the scripture says they hate him that rebukes at the gate. And we're at the gate. And we're rebuking you. It's sad, man. It's straight up sad, man. It's straight up, man. Okay? Y'all gonna come against us because we coming out telling the truth, man. This world is nothing but lies and robbery and rape and murder. Death. Darkness. I'm glad you've seen him still preaching, man. All right. We've been going three years. Yeah, 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 yeah. See him every night. Yeah. He's strong. He, got a, he, got, he puts the word out now. That's the Lord, man. Hey, I don't take any credit for it. It's the Lord, man. It's all the Lord, man. I don't take no credit for it, man. I'm, I'm just a vessel, man. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, seeking, uh, I'm seeking salvation just like every man, in, every man of the Lord, man. Okay. You got it, brother. I know I thought I thought I said that. Sorry, uh, I was first Corinthians 4-9. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 9. Uh, 1 Corinthians 4 and 12. says, and labor, working with our own hands, being reviled, we bless, being persecuted, we suffer it. Hey, 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 are we not being persecuted? It is, hey, you saw us being persecuted some more. Hey, but we, we suffer it, man. Hey, you don't see us get crazy, like, oh, man, talk about me, man. Oh, man, said I'm this, man. Hey, we, we take it, man. And so we labor with our hands, man. Again, brothers got jobs back here, man. We take care of our families, man. Okay, and the Lord might give us a bow here and here, but we take it, man. Being persecuted, we suffer it. Go ahead. It says, being defamed, we entreat. Being defamed, we entreat. Listen to that word, defamed, man. Verse 13. Uh, verse 13, right? Verse 13, 4 and 13. Being defamed. Verse, uh, uh, being defamed. It says uh, a blasphemo. Let me get the word blaspheme from. It says to speak reproachfully, well, to uh, uh, calumniate, to blaspheme, to be evil spoken of. And hey, great millstone. The, hey, they say we're the worst of the worst, man. Right. Here it is. We're not stealing your money. We ain't, we ain't committing adultery on your woman. We ain't feeding lies. We're not feeding lies. Hey, that's what the Muslims is like. Who's doing this? Hey, but hey, but they, hey, but they hate us, man. It says, it says, being he was spoken of, oh, being that, they're the worst, they're the worst for the worst. Hey, Sister Cherry, man, talking about we're the worst of the worst. Smoke okay, Gab alone, they're the worst of the worst. You can't even reason with them, man. That's evil. They're the child rapists. They want to rape your daughters. They're talking about you to have sex with the brother. What they say, man? Lying. Lying. It says being blessed. Being the thing, we entreat. What's that word, entreat? Entreat. It says, uh, Barak Kaleo, Barak Kaleo, which is to call to one side, call for summon, to address, to speak to, to call upon. Hey, we come out here, hey, even though we're being defamed, even though we're being reviled, even though we're being lied against, even though we're being persecuted, and we still come out here and speak, man. We kept hell in our own daily lives. We still come out here and speak, man. It says, uh, being defamed, we entreat. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. We are made as the filth of the world. We are made as the filth of the world. Oh, you're a mess. They are worse. Oh, yeah, they need to get rid of them. <coughs> These guys are the worst. That's what they say about us, man. Go ahead. And are the offscouring of all things unto this day. And are the offscouring of all things unto this day. So 
So even until this very day, man, the apostles and the elders went through it in the days of old. They, they're going through it now. Likewise, us, man. Your people, they don't respect us, man. There was a time when you would see a man with a Bible and you would listen to what he had to say, man. Now they make it disrespectful, man. So that word for all scouring is uh, parapasima. Parapasima. What is white dog? Dirt rubbed off. All scouring. Scraping. Hey, that's what they call us, man. DMS, the worst of the worst, man. That's what you say about us, man. But that's okay. We'll take it. We love being hated, man. Because guess what? We're being hated for the sake of Yahweh Shai, man. That's all, man. And if Yahweh Shai was here today in the flesh, he'd be with a great millstone. Hey, hey, hey those, those, are, those are my brothers, man. Okay? People are crazy, man. People are crazy, man. Keep reading, bro. Verse 14. I write not these things to shame you, but as my beloved sons, I warn you. I warn you. Hey, that's what that's what Paul was doing. He was warning, hey, hey, excuse me, I too. He was warning us, man. Hey, look, man, you come to serve the Lord, man. Hey, you're gonna be the worst. Yes, please get the rock. Yep. That's the truth, verse one. Hey, hey, Paul was like, look, man, you come to serve the Lord, you come work with me, man. You're gonna be the all scouring, man. Hey, Apostle, Apostle Hart does that even to this day, man. Hey, man, you come to Great Millstone, man. Hey, they're gonna hate you, man. You wanna be made to filth, you come to Great Millstone, you gotta work. He, he says that, he warns us. Go ahead. The book of Ecclesiasticus and the Apocrypha, chapter 2, verse 1. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, prepare thy soul for temptation. Prepare thy soul for temptation, you will catch hell, man. Again, people in the world, they think that when you serve the Lord, you're supposed to prosper. You're supposed to get the big mansion, the big car, the ring, the jewelry, the, uh, the untaxed money, the Bible, the super church, hey, the super, super mega church. They, they say that's God, gain of godliness. God's got to be dealing with him. He's doing good. He's preaching nothing but glad tidings for us, man. Go ahead, man. That's verse 2. Set that heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in the time of trouble. And it says, set your heart aright, get your mind right, and constantly endure, man. And this truth, you gotta constantly endure, man. Hey, what are you constantly enduring? Hardships, man. And the scripture says, through much tribulation, thou shalt enter into the kingdom of the heavenly Father, man. Verse three, cleave unto him, and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Cleave unto him, and depart not away. I'm sorry, read that again. Cleave unto him, and depart not away. Yeah, cleave unto him, and depart not away. Don't leave it, man. You got guys being in the truth for up 10 years, and just one day they just wake up, and they just fall out, man. Oh, man, I'm tired, bro. I'm tired of being made respect, man. I'm tired of them lying and saying that I'm just waking. I'm tired of them. Stop. You get tired, man. And you stop cleaving. Because you ain't had no faith. You ain't had no real faith. You ain't had no foundation, man. Like that one dude from uh, GLCC. He went to IUIC last week. Pastor the argued a video. I did a reply. He said uh, he, he left GLCC, GLCC because he got tired of waiting on the Lord, man. Yeah, the Lord will kill a nigga like that, man. Some Great. dudes in the year 2000. They like to bring that up and say it's possible to harm a prophet, which is not. I'm sorry, you already knew that. But it was, it was a common thought, but it was all spiritual in itself. But after, after the year 2000, thousands of dudes that was Israelites that was going hard on the streets in the 80s and the 90s just fell out. Niggas just went back into the world, man. Can you read it again? Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha, chapter 2, verse 3. Cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Yeah, so you gotta endure to the end. Hey, what Yahweh Shai says, he that endure for to the end, the same shall be saved, man. <coughs> so you gotta you gotta endure this thing to the end, man. It ain't just about putting a couple years in, five, 10, 20, 30, 40 years. Hey, it's to the end, man. See it through. See it through, man. That's what you're supposed to do. See it through. Right. And that's, that's what 
nothing to book uh, a Surat verse a chapter two is talking about, man. Digging deep and seeing it through, man. All the hard times, all the bad times, all the so-called good times. Don't just be here for the chicken and the uh the brotherhood. Don't just be here for the rap sessions and the, you know and the, the scriptures and cussing a white man out. You gotta be here through it all, man. All right. Verse four. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. Yeah, don't, 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 don't despise it. Hey, you being brought to a, uh, a low state, you get thrown into a prison, you get, uh, you get kicked out of your house, all because you were speaking to the Lord, you, you, you get, you get, uh, uh, hey, man. I'm sorry, we got to get Ecclesiasticus, chapter 2, verse 4. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. Yeah. And be patient when thou art changed to a low state. Yeah, you gotta be patient in this thing when you change to a low state. And your woman leave you, man, and the most high forgot your life that's never been wicked, man. He'll give you a box, he'll give you some box eventually. A lot of times, Jake, you just need to take that time to build your own self up, man. You gotta take that time to build, get closer to your how about you have a chat. Hey, because your woman could be a distraction. Right. And if some brothers, they're not, they not strong enough in the spirit to fight the distraction. So it'll take them away. So when the Lord kick our ass out, hey, guess what he's doing? He's building you up. Read it again. Ecclesiastes 2 and 4, whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. So whatever you go through, take it cheerfully, man. And hey, I'm sorry. There's a scripture in Acts where, where the, where the apostles, they were beat. So Yahweh's side sake, man. And they, oh, man, they were, they were rejoicing. Because they got beat for Yahweh's side sake, man. Because they knew it's rewarding that, man. He said it's going to happen, go ahead. And be patient when thou art changed to a low state. Be patient when you change to a lower state, man. Don't be so quick to run away, man. Go ahead. For gold is tried in the fire, yep. and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in a what? In the furnace of adversity. In the furnace of adversity, man. Hey, so when you come to this truth, yeah, you're gonna be, a, you're gonna face adversity, man. Right now we're being, we're being lied on, slandered on. Hey, but the same thing happened to the Lord. He said, hey, if they hate you, no, they hated me first, man. And it ain't you that they hate; it's the Lord. What? Believe in Him, and He will help thee. Order that way of right and yeah. trust in Him. Believe in your how about you was shot. And he's gonna set your way your way of right, man. Hey, because the, 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 the men of the Lord, man, hey, we're not gonna, he's not gonna have us out here jacked up, man. Hey, you're not gonna be rich in this thing, and you're not gonna be poor. You just gonna have you're gonna have enough, man. Like Paul said, man, give me neither poverty nor riches, man. But that which is sufficient for the evil day thereof, man. Go ahead. Verse 7. Ye that fear the heavenly Father, wait for his mercy, wait for his mercy, man. and go not aside, lest ye fall. Yeah, that's right, man. You guys, you guys that were in the truth, but then you went back into the world, you didn't want to wait on the Lord's mercy, man. And then you fell to the side, leave it again. So Ecclesiasticus 2 and 7. Uh, ye that fear the heavenly Father, Wait for his mercy. You fear? Yeah, how about you was shy? Wait for his mercy. Go ahead. And go not aside lest he fall. And go not aside unless you fall. Go ahead. Ye that he fear the most high, believe him. Ye that if you fear the most high, you believe him, man. You believe that these words are true. Go ahead. And your reward shall not fail. And your reward will not fail. Again, he that endure up until the end, the same shall be saved. Hold fast to that which you have given, okay? And the Most High said he's going to give you a crown of life. Yeah, how about you said he's going to give you a rod of iron, which you're going to bash the nations to pieces, man. Hey, but you give up in the middle of the game. That's like a nigga running down the court. We in the middle of the third quarter. This nigga running down the court, he just stopped. Ah, no, 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 no. He, he just stopped. I don't want to play no more. I quit. What? Fuck you, man, you quit. All right, cool. Get, get, get somebody in here that, that really can play, man. Right. Get somebody in here that want to play. And that's what that happened, man. You fall out, the Lord is going to put somebody in the truth that really want to play, man, that really want to be here, that really believe in him, man. Go ahead. Verse 8. Salakia, verse 9. 
Ye that fear the heavenly Father, hope for good. Hope for good. And for everlasting joy and, and mercy. And for everlasting joy and mercy. That's what we got coming, brother. Go ahead. Look at the generations of old and see that ever any trust in the heavenly Father, Yahweh, why Yahweh shy and was confounded? Yeah, look at all the prophets, man. The Lord never let none of the prophets go. Even though some of us had to give up our lives to the Lord, that was fine, man. But even so, he was always with us, man. He never, not, it says, the Lord said, none of those that his father has given him will he lose, said the son of perdition, man. Judas and Esther, man. But everybody else, man, they, man. Everybody, all the prophets, you, you read about all the prophets in the book, the Lord delivered them, man. Daniel, he set Daniel up good, man. Even though he went to captivity, Daniel was the second in command. He was the president over all the presidents, man. He was the man. Go ahead. Um, or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? And that's another thing. You got to fear the Lord, man. You, 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 you Israelites, you don't fear the Lord, man. You don't fear the Lord. Hey, see? They know you're Israelites. Yeah, he know it, but hey, that, that ain't enough, man. But Shalom ain't going to get you into the kingdom of heaven, man. And he ain't doing it to be condescending, man. But read it again. It says, or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Did anybody that abide in his fear was forsaken. See, that's the thing. It says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, man. And a lot of you cats, you come up in here, you don't really fear the Lord, man. Because if you did, you would do what he said to you, man. You would do what's commanded of you, man, ordered of you, man. That's right. But you come in here, you bullshit for a couple of years, and then when it ain't good for you no more, you go back into the world. You just want to go back to your destruction, see, reader? Or whom did he ever just... It says, oh, Ecclesiasticus, read it from the top, ten. No, no, that's uh, okay. the fear of the Lord. Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? So anybody that feared the Lord, truly feared the Lord, you're not going to be forsaken, man. Go ahead. Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? Yeah, who who did the Lord ever despise that called on him in truth and sincerity, man? None. None. Not even his own son. Go ahead. For the heavenly Father is full of compassion and mercy. Yeah, how about you know the child is full of compassion and mercy toward those that fear him? Go ahead. Long suffering. Long suffering, patient. And very hey, that's, pitiful. That, that's another thing you gotta be in this case. And it's truth, man. Patient. Scripture says, and hey, your patience possess ye your souls. Like the brother IR, IR Johnson said, it's too late in the game to back down. It's too late in the game to look back. It's too late in the game to say, you know what? I want to go back to this world. I want to be a part of that. Uh, you're in a boxing match. For you guys that watch boxing, you've been winning all the rounds. You're in round 10. <laughs> and just round 11 starts, and you're just like, nah, fuck it. I give up. Yeah. Like, what the fuck, man? You got to fight, fight under your belt. Like, what the hell are you quitting for? What you quitting for, man? Hey, again, again, well, like I said earlier, hey, man, see it through. Hey, you got to see this thing through, man. Go ahead. That's for whom? Or Salakia. For the Lord, Yahweh by Shimmy Shai, is full of compassion and mercy. It's full of compassion and mercy. Go ahead. Long suffering. Long suffering, patient. Go ahead. And very pitiful. And very pitiful. And forgiveth sins. And forgiveth sins. And saveth in time of affliction. And saveth in time of you niggas ain't giving the Lord a chance to save you. I'm gonna save myself. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna change it up. I'm gonna make it sweet for Esau so when he comes down, he don't get me because I said he can be saved. And the Lord said he still gonna get your ass, man. That's right. He got the taste when you was cussing him out. He got the taste when you said you was praising Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah's name and his men. It's too late in the game, go ahead. Uh Woe to the fearful in heart. Woe, meaning destruction. Woe to the fearful in heart. You you get you come into the truth and then you go back into the world. You fearful in heart, man. You got no faith. Destruction to you, go ahead. And faint in hands. Mm -hmm. And, and faint in hands. Okay, woe to him that is what? Woe to him that is fearful. So like a woe be to fearful hearts. Woe be to fearful hearts. And faint hands. Bitch ass niggas. 
straight hands, go ahead. And the sinner that goeth two ways. And the sinner that goeth two ways. You was in the truth at once, and now you go right back to the world, man. Get the hell out of here, man. You're gonna be destroyed, man. That's what that's what you waiting on a missile, man. All of you that fell out, you waiting on a missile, man. Right. You ain't on a missile. At least you repent. But a lot of you dudes, man, you ain't repenting, man. You you scoffing, stick a foot out of the tooth for whatever reason. They ain't even turn into a scoffer. They just start talking shit. You just start, just start, oh, just start going against the men of the Lord. Just start talking crazy, man. Spending hours on a computer talking shit. Nigga, you don't want to be the truth? Go back into the world. Do what you want to do. Just wait for that missile, man. Go ahead. Whoa, unto him that is vain hearted. Whoa, to you that is faint hearted. For he believeth not. You believe it not. That's right, man. And that's like Apostle Paul always say, man. You in the truth, and you, you go back to the world, you never believe, man. I don't care how many years you put in, man. You go back to, to the world, you never believe, man. You were just dead. Good. Therefore, shall he not be defended. You're not going to be defended in that day, man. I got a sister real quick, brother. Hold on. Hold that. Um, You get Luke 12 and 47. Twelve and 47. Yeah. It's the book of Luke. Oh, you can start up a couple of verses. Okay, I'm Luke 12 and what? 45? Yeah, see what it says. Oh, and if that servant saved in his heart by no delay. Yeah, 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 that's right. That's right. Uh, read up the, uh, the, the book of Luke, chapter 12, verse 43. Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. So, I'm going to read up 41, right? Nah, brother. Luke. 12 and 41. Then Peter said unto him, Lord, speakest thou this parable unto us, or even to all? And the, and the Lord said, Who then that is faithful and wise steward, whom his Lord shall make ruler over his, over his household? Yeah, nothing's going to happen, man. If we endure to the end, Yahweh should not try to make us rulers over his house, over the 12 tribes, man. The 144,000, man. Go ahead. To give them their portion of meat yep. in due season. And that's right. The Lord will give us our portion in due season. Right now, this ain't our season, man. You out here trying to be in the truth and live in the world and be a, be a, a big time baller. Guess what, man? This ain't the time for that, man. Go ahead. Blessed is that servant who is Lord when he cometh shall find so doing. Blessed is that servant who is his, who is the Lord. Blessed is that, is that servant. But when the Lord comes, he finds you doing the work, man. Why do you think apostles are hard? The Spirit jumped on them like, yo, do three videos a week. Get with the brothers, man. Once a week. Go out to the highways and byways and prophesy. Be instant in season and out of season. Why, man? Because he, hey, man. So when the Lord comes, he wants he want the Lord to see us doing the work, man. Go ahead. A big truth, I say unto you, that he will make him ruler over all he, he has. He gonna make you a ruler over all that he has, man. I don't wanna die and have to be reborn back in the kingdom, man. I wanna make it to the end, man. I don't right. know about two brothers. I wanna make it to the end, man. Go ahead. But, and if that servant say in his heart, my Lord delayeth, it's coming. And that's what you, that's what you do. You, you guys that was in the truth, and then you fall out, you say, oh, the Lord ain't coming like that one dude. He got tied away on the Lord, man. Hey, the Lord's gonna destroy that nigga, go ahead. And shall begin to beat the men servants and maidens, and to eat and drink, and to be drunken. And that's what you dudes do, you, you celebrating early, man. A lot of you Israelite groups out there, you celebrate early, man. You have a party, getting married, eating and drinking. Hey, we ain't, we ain't even, we ain't gonna get the championship win yet, man. We didn't get the crown yet, man. You niggas are partying too early. Celebrating early, man. What? The Lord of that servant will come in a day 
person when he looketh not for him. That's right. Yeah, how about some outside and coming like a thief in the night, man? When you're not looking for him. You want to go back into the world and find yourself. Hey, when the Lord come, you ain't going to be looking. He going to get you right there. Go ahead. And at an hour when he is not aware. At an hour when you are not aware, just like Maxwell. Hey, 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 hey. we never saw it coming. Go ahead. And we'll cut him in center and we'll appoint him his portion with the unbelievers. He's going he gonna to appoint your portion with the unbelievers. Because at one time you believe, and then you stop believing, now you're back in the congregation of the dead. Go ahead. And that servant which knew his Lord's will yep. and prepared him so, so like, and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will, yep. shall be beaten with many stripes. You won't be beaten with many stripes, man. Worse than a dude that was just a two-third nigga walking up there in the streets, and he, didn't, he never knew the truth, man. But you was in the truth, and when you fell back into the world, you won't be beat with more stripes, man. Go ahead. But he that knew not and did commit things worthy of stripes, yeah. Shall be be beaten with few stripes. Yeah, so the nigga that was in the world, he was just being a nigga, he never came into the truth. He gonna be beat with few stripes than you, man. What? For unto whomsoever much is given, yep. of him shall be much required. Hey, 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 with, hey, with much power comes great responsibility, man. Can read that again? That's what it says. For unto whomsoever much is given, of him shall be much required. So whoever is much is given, which is the truth, much is required, man. Hey, when you receive the truth, it's sweet. That's why the Lord told Ezekiel, eat the whole roll, man. It's going to be sweet in your mouth, but when it hits your belly, it's going to be bitter. It's going to be bitter. Read that portion again. It says, For unto whomsoever much is given, For unto whomsoever much is given, Of him shall be much required. Of him shall much be required. Go ahead. And to whom men have committed much, of him, they will ask the more. That's right. That was it on that. Go back to where we was at. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 The book of Sirach, chapter 2, the apocrypha, verse. 14. Woe unto you that have lost patience. Woe unto you that have lost patience, man. Go ahead. And what will ye do when the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahushai shall visit you? What you gonna do when Yahweh by Shem Yahushai come looking for you? Go ahead. They that fear the Heavenly Father will not disobey his word. They that fear Yahweh by Shem Yahushai will not disobey his word, man. Follow the law, such commandments to the best of your ability. Be, love your brother. Do the work. Do the work. See it through. Read that portion again. Ecclesiastes 2 and 15. They that fear the heavenly Father. They that fear the heavenly Father will not disobey His word. Will not disobey His word. Two thirds you disobey. You fall out, you disobey. Go ahead. But the ones that that the elect, Lord willing, we, we some of those men, we're not gonna disobey His word. Go ahead. And they that love him will keep his way. And they that love him will keep his way. The law says his commandments, man. So if you love the Lord, what is the love of the Lord? That we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. If you love the Lord, you're going to keep his commandments, man. Go ahead. Right. You're not going to say that was all done away with. Jesus nailed it to the cross. Go ahead. Verse 16. They that fear the heavenly Father will seek that which is well pleasing unto him. Which is follow the law, set the commandments, man. And they that love him shall be filled with the law. And they that love him shall be filled with the law. They that fear the most high will prepare their hearts and humble their souls in his sight. They that fear the Lord will what? Prepare their hearts and humble. You gotta be humble. Hey, something Apostle Gabar told me, man. Last time I saw him, man, he was like, hey, one thing you gotta remember in his truth. It's humility, man. Always stay humble, man. That's right. That's what he taught me, man. Always stay humble, man. And I never, I'm, I, Lord willing, I never forget that, man. That was a, that was a life lesson, man. Humility, man. That's something that a lot of you jakes, you don't have, man. Hey, this thing is not about us, man. It's about your how about some y'all with shy. That's right. It's not about us. 
It's about him. Verse 18. Saying, we will fall into his hand. We will fall into the hands of the heavenly father and not into the hands of men. We're going to fall into the hands of Yahweh Bachinah was shot and not into the hands of men. Hey, the scripture says, fear not him that can destroy the body, but fear him that can destroy both the body and the spirit in hell. Right here. This is hell. This right. is hell, man. We're in it. He'll fuck you up out here, man. How you a paraphernalia to the missile club. Right. For as his majesty is, so is his mercy. But as his majesty is, wait, so is his mercy, man. Wait. That was the end of the That was it. Hey, so with that, man, all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rukhah, Kodash, double honor to the apostles and the elders that great millstone, for teaching words, truth and sincerity, and for ruling well. So I say to our fellow Austin, keep pushing, keep striving, we almost out of here. Shalom, a Bible call. Shalom, a Bible call. Lord willing, we'll see you next week.